Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about alerts, how we can set alerts for our data. So till now we have been discussing how we can design dashboards, add visualization, how to upload all the data via FluentD and everything. So in this video we are going to set an alert and we'll see how we can set alerts for different different use cases. So let's get started. Now for alerts, you need to first navigate to the alerting page. So for that, click on this bar and go to stack management. And then here in alerts and inside, you will see alerts and actions. So click on alerts and actions. Now you will be, you will get this small warning of warning, which says that to create an alert set a value for this. So as of now, we are running the Kibana on the default configuration. So Kibana is asking us to have some kind of encryption key in our configuration file of the Kibana so that our alerts are secured. So we first need to set the encryption key. Uh, so for that, let me just simply first close the Kibana. Okay, now we have to edit the Kibana's configuration file which is present inside the config directory and kibana.yml so inside this we need to set this this key so let me just copy this key and and we and as a value we can put any um any 32 bit like hash or or any token so i'll put this here and for its value i will simply use the UUID which we normally generate in our Python code. So for that, let me just open the idle. So we can use this as our key for security purpose. So let me paste it here. Perfect. Now let's restart our Kibana. Okay, now it is started. Now if I reload this page, so you will see that we don't see that warning because we have set the encryption key in the configuration file. Now we can create an alert. So let's create an alert. Um, let's create this alert as my alert or you can uh, name it anything you want. Now here you need to mention like when do you want this alert to run? So as of now it is one minute. So this alert this this will run every one minute but let's make it like five seconds so we want this to run every five seconds and here let's also mention five seconds so this is like it will keep on notifying notifying us every five seconds now these are different different uh, trigger types as per uh, your project requirements but as per our project requirement we are going to do we are going to use index threshold now in index threshold uh, so basically what type of alert we are generating we are generating an alert which will give which will be triggered when our device goes down for some reason let's say device is powered down or let's say device is offline or let's say for some reason our services goes down so in that case what will happen is that the total count of all the data received on the last search will will be less than the previous uh, previous uh, time frame uh, count so in that way we will simply generate an alert so for that, we have to select a field here. So first of all, we need to mention the, we need to mention the index pattern. So we are using temperature as an index pattern and we are going to use created as our timestamp. Now, apart from this here, so now in this, you can select one second. Yes, so we have selected index our temperature and in this you can select whether you want the condition to be count or average or sum or maximum now let's say you want to create an alert if the temperature goes above above a threshold level so you can use this max value you can use minimum value as well or you can even use average value as well but for this demo purpose we are going to use count now now this this is our first condition like if the if the count of all the temperature values in all the documents goes let's say 
is below or equals to zero if the count of temperature values if the count of the documents of the temperature values is below or equals to zero for let's say five seconds for last five seconds then simply generate an alert so this is our condition in similar way you can add like you can adjust this condition to match your project requirements now if i click on now okay so here at the end you can also select the action type for example you want whenever the alert is generated you want an email or you want maybe you want to integrate this with your jira but because we are using the open source so this is not probably uh, available for us so we'll ignore the action part and we'll simply save our alert now you will see that our alert is showing as pending because there is no alert generated so in order to generate alert let's simply go to our code uh, we can we can either shut down our raspberry pi or we can simply make it offline or we can simply close our uh, i mean quit our python code so let me just stop my python code so this this will then stop uh, generating the logs and then fluentd will also not publish any data now if you go back it is still showing pending but let me just refresh it once perfect so now you can now we can see that now my alert is active and it is showing me yes we, you have an alert and now we can simply like go i mean at, at this stage you can probably go and check your device what's what's wrong in it and what's happening and then you can simply once once you are satisfied you can simply uh, disable the alert or you can mute the alert or whatever you want so in this way you can generate alerts for your devices so so that whenever any of its services or let's say the device itself goes down you will get an alert and you can also add actions to it so you will get an email or you can probably integrate it with slack or jira or anything so that's how you set alerts in kibana for your data uh, that's all for this video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel